Hello students, today I once again welcome you all to our English class and today in the poetry section we will be reading the poem including all my friends from the third unit reading the of your book flight. This poem is written by Randy Bassett. Randy Bassett is a very nice and great poet and a father of disabled children. He and his wife Sushan had founded an organization named Opening Hearts to improve the lives of handicapped and disabled children who are children with special needs and they even try to improve the lives of these children's family. For this work, they received local and provisional awards also. The efforts which they made through the organization was very commendable. As Randy Bassett was a father of disabled children, he very well knew the pains and sorrows these disabled children felt when they remained in contact with the society. The negligence which they faced in their day-to-day -day life, the exploitation which they experienced from the world, all these things was very well known to Randy Bassett. So, he had tried to express these feelings of the disabled children through his poetry, including all my friends. This poem, is an expression of a handicapped or a disabled child. He expresses his feelings and when we come to read or when we come to know about the title of the poem, including all my friends, it refers to the feelings of all those children who are disabled and who have to face a lot of negligence a lot of exploitation, a lot of sorrowful moments that they spent with the normal people living in the society, the normal children who make fun of them, who exploit them, who worry them, who bother them and these botherations and worries which creates a panic in their heart, which creates a sorrow and pain in their heart is very well expressed in this poem through the mouth of a disabled child. And this disabled child says, including all my friends. So according to the title, we come to know that not only a single disabled child, but all the disabled children of the community face the same kind of behavior the same kind of pains, the same kind of negligence, the same kind of depression, the same kind of solitude in their lives when they live in the society of normal people. He expresses very well how this creates a pain in their heart and what do they expect from the society, what do they expect from the people and the children of the society who live a normal life and they shouldn't be bothered. So through this poem, the poet Randy Bassett, he wants us to teach a moral of an acceptable and appealing behavior. He very well knows that the moral of a child can be developed at a young age when he is a student and when he lives a life with his co-partners, with the community of young children 
he plays in the school with whom he studies and he lives a life he spends all the moments with the children of his own age at this stage of time we can mold the character of a student the character of all the children and so through this poem he wants the children to know what kind of behavior they should show in the society to the different peoples with whom they come in contact with whether the people are normal or whether they are disabled or handicapped or they have some drawbacks mentally and physically all these kind of people because all of us are children of god god has created everyone and sent to this universe so everyone should get the same kind of kind and noble behavior and this behavior should be acceptable and tolerable so we start this poem with the first stanza the poem has six stanzas in which the disabled child expresses his thoughts his pains and sorrows and then he wishes what kind of behavior he expects from the society and the normal people so in the first stanza the child the disabled child says i like to play with all my friends they like to play with me we play games like hide and seek and climb the backyard tree in this stanza the disabled child expresses that they also like other normal children play games and they are engrossed and very happy in their own community of disabled children they do not bother about the world they do not think of other people in the world they do not think of the luxuries and comforts of the other people and they are engrossed in their own happy world and they play together they also play the normal games which normal children play like hide and seek or climbing on a tree in the backyard of the house he says we run and jump and ride our bikes and play the whole day through he says that we are so engrossed and happy in our play in our game that this play uh, continues for the whole day for the whole day through we play we jump we run and we ride our bikes and when a new friend comes around we let them join us too then he says that in between our game if we have a new friend we even allow that friend to join with us in the mid of our game in the next stanza the child says some bad guys came to bother us the very first line came to bother us shows that this botheration wasn't of one day or one week it was a continuous process so he says that some bad guys came to bother us and we knew what they would say he even knew what these bad guys these notorious children would say these children these bad guys are normal children who do not have any kind of disability and so cannot understand the feeling and pain and sorrow of the disabled children they would come every day to bother these disabled children at their play and say bad words about our skin or hair or how we talk and play as these disabled children suffered the disabilities of uh, physical uh, disabilities or mental disabilities some had a, crick, a crooked eye some couldn't speak properly some couldn't hear properly and some couldn't walk were lame and some had due to some malnutrition or some lack in their body they would have different kind of skin or hair or hair that would be dry and brown and scattered over their head so this kind of awkward faces and looks 
which these uh, abnormal children or these disabled children had, this was not accepted by the normal children and they would come and bother these disabled child in their play talking bad about their skin or hair or how they talked and played. We didn't want to hear their words. We know that they are not right. There's so much more to all of us if we use more than our sight. So this disabled child says that we didn't want to hear their words. He says that we were so happy in our own world, in our own play, that we didn't want to hear what these bad guys said about us because we knew that they were not right. They were wrong in their sayings. They were wrong in their thoughts and views about us because if they had looked to us uh, according to our own sight, according to our own views, according to the point of view we see our own selves, if they had seen us through that point of view, they would have had a lot of nice things to talk about us. Then he says, we all have different skin and eyes. We all have different hair. Some need a special tube to breathe. Some need a special chair. These four lines express the different kind of disabilities which these children had. Some had some skin disease. Some children's eyes were crooked. Some had different dry, rough hair. Some needed a special tube to breathe because they had been suffering from some lung disease or some breathing disease and some need a special chair. Some child, some children were lame and couldn't walk properly so they needed a special chair. So in these four lines the different kind of disabilities which affected these children are expressed but really we all are the same. But really, we are all the same. We play, we laugh, we sleep. The mean guys had it wrong because they only look skin deep. In the last stanza, this disabled child compares himself and the other children of his community, that is the disabled children, with the normal children. And he says that we all are the same. Why say? Because all of us are human beings, we all have the same kind of sentiments, we all have the same kind of feelings, we feel the sorrow and pains, we feel the sunlight, the rain and everything felt by our normal children are the same as we feel and we play, we laugh, we sleep like other children laugh and play and sleep. We also laugh, we also play, we also sleep but these mean guys, these Notorious children, they think wrong about us. They have a wrong notion. They have a wrong idea. They have a wrong view about us because they only look skin deep. Because they have already looked at our outer appearance, at our superficial appearance and they have never tried to peep into our hearts and minds and have never tried to think that we also felt the same kind of pain and sorrows, the same kind of bliss and happiness as they felt. Including all my friends, ये कविता है रैंडी बेसिट के द्वारा लिखा गया, जो कि एक बहुत बड़े कवि हैं और साथ में वो एक ऐसे पिता हैं जिनके बच्चे अपंग या अपाहिज हैं तो एक अपंग या अपाहिज बच्चे की क्या स्थिति होती है उसकी सोच कैसे होती है वो अपने आप को पूरे समाज से कैसे अलग थलग पाता है इस फीलिंग इस विचारधारा को व्यक्त करते हुए उसने एक बच्चे के मुख से पूरी कविता को लिखा है आई लाइक टू प्ले विथ ऑल माई फ्रेंड्स मैं अपने सारे दोस्तों के साथ खेलना पसंद करता हूँ दे लाइक टू प्ले विथ मी वो भी मेरे साथ खेलना पसंद करते हैं 
वी प्ले गेम्स लाइक हाइड एंड सीक एंड क्लाइम द बैक या ट्री हम लुका छिपी जैसे गेम्स खेलते हैं और साथ में पीछे आंगन में पेड़ के ऊपर चढ़कर भी खेलते हैं वी रन एंड जम्प एंड राइड अ बाइक्स हम दौड़ते हैं उछल कूद करते हैं अपना बाइक्स चलाते हैं एंड प्ले द होल डे थ्रू और हमारा ये खेल पूरा दिन चलता है एंड वेन अ न्यू फ्रेंड कम्स अराउंड वी लेट देम ज्वाइन अस टू और अगर हमारे खेल के बीच कोई नया मित्र आता है कोई नया दोस्त आता है तो हम उसे भी अपने खेल में शामिल कर लेते हैं सम बैड गाइज केम टू बॉर्डर हमारे खेल के बीच कुछ गंदे बच्चे हमें तंग करने हमें परेशान करने चले आते हैं एंड वी न्यू वॉट दे वुड से और हमें पता है कि वो क्या कहेंगे बैड वर्ड अबाउट आर स्किन और हेयर ऑफ हाउ वी टॉक एंड प्ले हमारे स्किन के बारे में हमारे बालों के बारे में और हम किस प्रकार से बातें करते हैं हम किस प्रकार से खेलते हैं उन सब चीजों का ये मजाक उड़ाएंगे उनके बारे में ये गंदी बातें कहेंगे ये हमें पता है वी डेंट वॉन्ट टू हियर देर वॉइस हम इनकी बातों को सुनना नहीं चाहते थे वी नो दैट दे आर नॉट राइट क्योंकि हमें पता है कि ये सही नहीं है ये जो भी कह रहे हैं हमारे बारे में वो सही नहीं है There are so much more to all of us if we use more than our sight. अगर ये बच्चे हमारे दृष्टिकोण से हमें देखते तो ये हमारे बारे में कुछ बेहतर ही कह पाते कुछ अच्छा ही कह पाते We all have different skin and eyes. हम सभी के चमड़ी अलग है हम सभी के आँखों की बनावट अलग है We all have different hair. हमारे बालों का रंग रोगन भी सब अलग है Some need a special tube to breathe. किन्हीं किन्हीं बच्चों को स्पेशल ट्यूब श्वास लेने के लिए चाहिए क्योंकि वो श्वास की कुछ बीमारियों से ग्रसित है सम नीड अ स्पेशल चेयर कुछ बच्चे विकलांग हैं जो ठीक से चल नहीं पाते उनको स्पेशल चेयर की आवश्यकता है बट रियली वी आर ऑल द सेम लेकिन अगर देखा जाए तो हम सभी एक जैसे हैं वी प्ले वी लाफ वी स्लीप हम सभी खेलते हैं हम सभी हंसते कूदते हैं आनंद करते हैं हम सभी सोते जागते हैं तो हम भी सभी नॉर्मल बच्चे के तरह सारा व्यवहार हमारा भी होता है द मीन गाइज हैड इट रॉन्ग बिकॉज ये जो गंदे बच्चे जो हमें परेशान करने चले आते हैं ये जो मीन गाइज हैं जो गंदे बच्चे हैं जो स्वार्थी बच्चे हैं वो हमारे बारे में गलत इसलिए कहते हैं गलत इसलिए सोचते हैं क्योंकि They only look skin deep क्योंकि ये हमारे सिर्फ बाहरी बनावट को देखते हैं ये हमारी ऊपरी बनावट को देखते हैं और इसीलिए वो हमारे बारे में अच्छा विचार व्यक्त नहीं करते रैंडी पैसेट ने अपनी इस कविता से हमें एक नैतिक शिक्षा देने की कोशिश की है कि हम सभी का व्यवहार इस जगत में एक्सेप्टेबल होना चाहिए हमारा व्यवहार सभी के प्रति अच्छा होना चाहिए किसी के प्रति हमारा व्यवहार या विचार बुरा नहीं होना चाहिए क्योंकि हम सभी मानव हैं और ऐसा होता है कि मानव में किसी किसी मानव में कुछ कुछ कमियां होती हैं तो कमियों के साथ हमें सभी को सहर्ष ग्रहण करना चाहिए हमें कभी भी किसी को उसकी किसी विकलांगता को लेकर उसके किसी कमी को लेकर उसके बाहरी बनावट में कमी को लेकर के कभी किसी का उपहास नहीं करना चाहिए किसी के साथ बुरा व्यवहार नहीं करना चाहिए और सभी को अपने जैसा सोचना चाहिए हमें स्वार्थी नहीं बनना चाहिए और अपने समाज में सभी लोगों को साथ ले करके सभी के साथ खुश होकर और खुशी से हमें अच्छा व्यवहार करना चाहिए यही इस कविता में रैंडी बसित ने हमें बताने की कोशिश की है कि अगर कोई बच्चा विकलांग है किसी के पास अगर कोई शारीरिक कमी है कोई मानसिक कमी है अगर किसी का डेवलपमेंट किसी का विकास अगर शारीरिक रूप से ठीक से नहीं हो पाया है तो हमें उसे उपेक्षित महसूस नहीं होने देना चाहिए हमें उसके साथ अच्छा व्यवहार करके उसे खुश रखने की कोशिश करना चाहिए और अपने अच्छे विचारों से हमें एक अच्छा और सौहार्दपूर्ण वातावरण बनाना चाहिए
आशा है इस कविता में रैंडी बेसित ने जो उद्देश्य को बताना चाहा जिस उद्देश्य को वो हमें बताना चाह रहे थे वो उद्देश्य आपको समझ में आ गया है